Okay, so question three. Given that, given that the modulus of t is three, find the possible values of two t minus one modulus of that. Okay. Um, the modulus of t is three. Well, that means that t is either plus or minus three. That's that's what that means, doesn't it? Because it both of them give you an answer of minus t being three. So if t equals plus three, then that the modulus of two lots of three minus one that is uh, is equal to five. If t equals minus three, the modulus of two lots of minus three minus one. That's uh, minus six, if you know, minus seven, which is seven. So the possible values of two t minus one modulus of that are five and seven, and, and that that has three marks. Part two, part B. Um, just a, a quick point to remember here. You, you know, with this is the first time you've come across this this paper. The first two has parts one and two. And the first two questions, that was because they were linked. You were using your answers from part one and part two. It was all connected. This is A and B. It's the same topic area, but there's no, there's no connection between the two parts of the question. We understand that, don't we? So part B, solve the inequality. Um, I, what do you reckon? I, I like doing this with straight lines and drawing the graph. Other people like squaring things. I know you pull it in face at me, but it's I just I just like it. What what we've got here? We've got uh, two straight lines. I'm going to draw the graph. I'm sorry. Should we do it both ways? We'll do it both ways. Okay. I like drawing the graph. Um, uh, x minus root two. That would be gradient one. And it would cross at minus root 2. Now, root 2 is, well, 1.4-ish. So we've got a line that, that is going something like that. So that's, that's the first one. And that would cross at root 2 as well, wouldn't it? That point there would be root 2. The other one is, again, same gradient, gradient of 1, crossing at 3 root 2. So that's, that's quite a lot higher up, isn't it? We've, this one is doing that. And its gradient is the same. Um, so that would be what well, the second one looks like. This point here is 3 root 2, isn't it? Okay, and that's what the graph would look like. What we would like to know is for what values of x is the red line above the green line. Now it looks to me like the red line is above the green line everywhere to the left of that point. <clears throat> Does that make sense? All of that space, the red line is above the green line for every x value over there because that's keeping on going up. Over this side, the green one is above the red one. Let's know what we want. We need to know where that point is. That point is the point where... Now, which portions have we done? We've got the positive bit of x plus 3 root 2 is equal to the negative bit of x minus root 2. And so that gives us x plus 3 root 2 is minus x plus root 2, so 2x is minus 2 root 2. Take away the 3 root 2 from both sides. x is negative root 2. And so from our graph, seeing where things work out, we are now saying therefore x has to be less than minus root 2 and that is our answer. Um, the, other, the other way you want to see, you can just square them. That also works, let's look at squaring them. That means we take, what was the question? Take x minus root 2, square it. Yeah, okay. 
that, of course, uh, that gives us x squared. Do we get minus two root two plus two is greater than x squared plus six root two plus eighteen. <laughs> Rearrange things now. We've got six root two over there. So let's. What should we do? Minus sixteen. The x squared cancel out. We've got, I think, eight root two over here. Divide through by eight. Uh, I seem to have lost an x in all of this. Two x's. Uh, x. 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 The hand momentum. Still missing one. Divide by the root two. We've got that. And if we rationalise the denominator on 2 over root 2, multiply top and bottom by root 2, we get x less than minus root 2. And we get it that way without having to resort to graphs. Either one gave full marks. Isn't that one much more elegant than actually drawing the graph and seeing the pretty things? And no, you all prefer the graph. Fine. 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 Fine.